Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I wanted to do a state of the art, a state of the channel address, and just a discussion on where everything is at and what I did this summer. So, my summer is going to be ending soon. As you might know, I'm a school teacher. Uh, tomorrow I go in for meetings about uh, what's called work keys testing. It's a um, assessment test. And then uh, next Thursday, uh, teachers report back for in-services. And then the following Thursday, our students arrive. So, um, you know, things are coming quickly to an end with the summer and then moving back into having, you know, full work days. But this summer, I felt like I got a lot done. Um, leading into the summer, I was doing some watercolor master studies. Then with the summer starting, I was playing around with um, different mediums, uh, dry mediums especially, and uh, compositions. So uh, what I mean by that is I've been looking at um, portraits and just sketches and uh, playing around. The dry media, uh, we played around with Conte, charcoal, uh, pencil, just a whole bunch of different things playing around. And compositions, we wound up looking at some masters. In fact, um, we did some book reviews on the channel where I looked at Charles Gibson with his Gibson Girls, uh, which were the illustrative uh, drawings of um, his Victorian, post-Victorian women and men. Um, looked at John Singer Sargent and his uh, portraits and did a lot of sketches of those. And played around with some of my own stuff. So we looked at that. Also played around with different papers. And different surfaces. I, I started looking at the My Tientes um, pastel paper, uh, Strathmore uh, mixed media papers, papers from Hobby Lobby, just a whole bunch of different surfaces. Watercolor-wise, I feel like I didn't get a whole bunch done watercolor, but there was a lot of monochrome photos, focus. Um, especially the earth tones. I had picked up some Daniel Smith and experimented with the different um, colors, just looking to see what properties they had, if there's granulation, and how they held up as their own as a tube. Um, so that was kind of artwork and studies this summer. With the YouTube, I did add something new. Originally, I had just my full length. With it, I think people like, um, you know, I talk throughout it and people say that's often pretty helpful. Plus, <clears throat> I don't like filming something and then going and speaking back over it. I like kind of speaking real time during it. Then I tacked on time lapses. I realized that I could take my full length, run it in a program and have a time lapse there. Um, I've been playing around with the time length for the time lapses, so I'm curious what speed you guys like those at. If I'm listening to a podcast or music, and if I'm doing an experiment, I usually just film it as a time lapse, but I've been taking a full length and putting in time lapses because some people enjoy that. Very recently, I started doing super shorts, and I wanted to kind of talk about that since they're probably popping up on your feed and to explain why I'm doing that. I'm taking videos and I'm making them super fast to them being sub uh, nine seconds around that time period, just as a different avenue for people to uh, view the videos and view the work. The time lapse is kind of for people, sorry, full length, has a very learning aspect to it. Time lapse 
there's a different learning aspect to it and just kind of enjoyment. While the super shorts are super fast and it's almost like a, a snapshot, almost like three snapshots of something taking place. And for people scrolling through YouTube, they seem to enjoy that. So if you see something in three different forms, like the same painting, that's why I've been playing with that. Uh, a few other things. I've been playing with the Patreon and the Kofi, K-O-F-I, um, as ways to have exclusive content and donation resources. I want to thank everybody that donates and uh, supports this channel. It helps out immensely and it helped, you know, obtain all of the media and uh, surfaces that I'm playing around with. And plus, it really just gives me extra drive when uh, I know that people are watching these things or uh, people feel like they want to support. So thank you so much for that. Um, I've been trying to get more exclusive stuff on Patreon. I would say, and Kofi, I would say that I have a 50 video uh, backlog. Like easily 50 videos because I was just filming everything and you don't want to like dump 20 videos on YouTube in one day. It like messes with the channel and everything like that and um, it gets lost in the, the, uh, the videos. People don't get to see them. So I have a whole big backlog. So on the Patreon, I've started doing uh, From the Vaults. This is a kind of a reference to um, the band The Grateful Dead, where they recorded everything that they did, and they did over like 2,000 live shows in their lifetime, just an extraordinary amount. And they would have CDs or audio come out like from the vaults, you know, things that was just recorded. Um, and that's what I'm kind of doing there because I think I'm at, I'm probably at 680 videos up on YouTube right now because I'm just putting out so much and I really enjoy that. But Patreon, you'll see a lot of that. Uh, I do try to do the write-ups on the Patreon, but, um, some of them I might just be like, I'm not too certain what's going on that. So that's the summer. That's the current social media stuff, um, the different ways you might be seeing the things. And now that in two weeks, I'll be back uh, full-time teaching. Um, usually for me, watercolor is just the easy setup. The desk is set up for watercolor. If I wanted to um, paint, Within two or three minutes, I can get the camera set up and everything ready, and I can start painting and paint uh, tonalist and have fun and really let loose. Uh, I was thinking about it, and it really isn't much oil up here lately. So I want to get some of that in place. With Louisiana weather, uh, there hasn't been much photography stuff happening. In fact, right now in the background, there's thunder rumbling. It's been all day and it's been for the past few almost past week at this point I haven't had a chance to go outside and longboard because I would get stuck somewhere my equipment would get soaked and I'd have to disassemble everything and take care of it but these are things that I can see the direction of the channel um, <clears throat> I filled up my fountain pens so I can see more sketching happening with ink But now that I have like so many different materials that I've been playing with and exploring, I'm curious what you want to see. What do you want to see? Let me know. Are you enjoying the flow of the channel? Um, is there stuff you want me to do more videos on? Um, do you want to see more composition stuff? Do you want to see more portrait stuff? Um, I have some acrylics, but I really don't want to do acrylics. Everything except for acrylics. Let's, let's leave it at that. So on that note, um, I will obviously continue with videos and uploading, but let me know. And then 
soon enough in a few months i'm sure i'll be back with another state of the channel address so you all take care thank you so much for your support thank you for all your your viewership and all your uh kind comments i really appreciate it y'all have a great day bye, -bye.